after Jin Dynasty, uh, we will have a Han Dynasty. Okay, uh, in China, in China. Uh, uh, most of Chinese people are Han people. I'm Han people. Okay, I'm from Han nationality. So, uh, so we, our nationality just uh, get name from uh, uh, this dynasty. Okay. Uh, in this dynasty, I will focus on three stories. The first story, after Qin falling apart, uh, Liu family and the Xiang family they are fighting for the throne. Okay, uh, if you want to know the details, um, that's a good research project uh, you would like to do. Uh, also, I highly recommend uh, one movie called Farewell, My Concubine. <laughs> it's talk about um, a leader of Xiang family. <laughs> okay, they failed, but uh, um, that's a good story though. Okay, it's uh, in this uh, film. In this film, they um, uh, it has like a history. It has um, you know, um, China, uh, Beijing Opera <laughs> cultural elements. That's cultural elements, right? And also, uh, it mentioned uh, evolution, uh, the cultural revolution you know, uh, just last century in China. Uh, in this class, we won't talk about that, but uh, in this movie, they show you a lot of details about the Cultural Revolution, okay? Uh, the second story, after Han uh, was uh, established, it's very weak, right? Okay, uh, so the northern barbarians uh, invaded Han. They are very strong and they have a good horse, good weapon, good soldiers. They always invaded, you know, Han dynasty. What can you do if you were you are the emperor? <laughs> you may pause and think a little bit and then you can turn the video on again. Uh, so, um, they did three things. First of all, they built the Great Wall. See, Great Wall again. <laughs> uh, and secondly, um, the emperor agreed to send a regular gift, like a liquors, like a silk, like a rice, uh, this kind of stuff to Northern barbarians. Um, the most important, the most important policy they have is a marriage uh, alliance. What does it mean, <laughs> right? Just send some princess, uh, princesses uh, to marry the leader of the Northern barbarians. Uh, um, so we have some famous story about the Wang Zhao Jun. <laughs> Zhao Jun, <laughs> Zhao Jun. So uh, you may do some research about her story. Her story is very interesting. And that's another research um, project. Uh, if you would like to do, please uh, give me a hands up and uh, share it uh, in our uh, in-class presentation uh, forum. All right, um, who stopped Northern <laughs> Barbarian invitation? Okay, the Emperor of Wu, uh, from this period, from his period, the Emperor of Wu. Uh, so the Emperor of Wu also did a lot of things. Okay, um, <laughs> one thing he did, um, you know, is one government official called Dong Zhong Shu. Uh, uh, he asked uh, Emperor Wu, you know, to um, uh, to let the Confucianism become the imperial uh, orthodoxy. Okay, uh, so think about it. You may pause for a second here and think about it. Why they use Confucianism as their imperial uh, orthodoxy? Uh, sure, Confucianism uh, 
okay, they, um, they ask people, you know, to be gentlemen, uh, and to be, um, uh, to love each other, to keep harmony. So, um, those philosophies are very, very, um, important for ruling, for ruling the country, right? That's why, I think that's why Confucianism become imperial uh, orthodoxy. All right, after this important dynasties, we have a, a KS period. Okay, we have a, a, a lot of dynasties, a lot of story in between, um, like, um, you know, a lot of small kingdoms, uh, for example, in Bay Bei Wei, the Wei, uh, Wei, uh, North, uh, Northern Wei <laughs> Dynasty, we have uh, Mulan story, okay? If you want to research more on Mulan story, please feel free to do so, okay? Uh, and uh, so after this chaos, we have like three kingdom um, period. Uh, this period is very, very famous in Chinese history uh, because we have a, a classical novel called uh, The Romance of Three Kingdoms. Uh, if you have a chance, you can read it. And uh, right now, there are a lot of uh, businessmen. They would love to uh, read uh, The Romance of Three Kingdoms because uh, they mm, they would like to learn some strategies from it. <laughs> yeah, we also learned the art of the war, 36 stratagems. So they, you know, right now the businessmen, they would love to, you know, um, study on that. <laughs> uh, so in Three Kingdom period, actually there are a lot of interesting stories, a lot of interesting person. Uh, and uh, for this week's major uh, discussion, I will ask you guys to uh, research um, some part of story and or some people in the Three Kingdom period uh, share some stories. That's all. Okay. All right. Uh, we will stop here today. I hope everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. All right. Bye-bye.